Hey everyone, my name is Samantha. Welcome back to Top Dog Tips. And if you're new, um, I like to share recipes with you guys every week on homemade dog food or homemade dog treats. I like to cook for my dogs and I enjoy sharing those recipes with you guys. Um, in the process of sharing recipes with you all and with um, friends and family that I, that I see, I always hear from pet parents that they don't have the time. I don't have the time to cook for my dog. I don't have the time to cook for my dog. We're busy. We have kids. We have jobs. We work outside the home. We don't have time for this. Today I want to show you a crock pot recipe, a slow cooker recipe, and I've shared some others that I will link in um, if you get on our website, which is topdogtips.com. Um, if you found this this recipe on our site, um, it's linked right there. And if you are on YouTube, in the video description below, you'll find the link. Um, and I'll include some other ones if you're looking for some other slow cooker recipes. So this one is um, a really great recipe because you can interchange it and um, do different things. And that helps you budget wise. So if you're a pet owner like me that likes to buy in bulk to save a little bit of money, you can interchange the proteins that you're using. You can interchange and substitute the fruits and the vegetables that you're using. Um, today I have these ones for you, but the basis of this food, and I will go ahead and show you, um, my crock pot's already plugged in, and you can cook this either for four hours on low or for seven hours on high. I'm going to cook it on low, so mine's set to low, and um, the base of this food is going to stay the same, obviously, which is one and a half cups of water and one cup of brown rice. So I'm gonna put that all in there right now. Um, and then you can start with your proteins. So this recipe calls for four pounds of whatever protein you care to use. Today I'm using ground pork and ground beef. Um, my dogs really like the beef pork mixture. And I like to usually, because four pounds is a lot of protein, I like to kind of split it up usually and do two. Um, usually I do two pounds of one and two pounds of the other, but today I didn't have that in my freezer. So I have one pound of ground beef. Now mine is frozen, um, which is fine. If it's going to slow cooker, not a big deal. If you need to cook just like an extra half an hour, 45 minutes, but you can definitely put frozen meat in here so you don't have to have the time to unthaw your meat um, to defrost it so um, and then this is the ground pork so this one is frozen as well and we have another package of pork um, so I'm using three pounds of pork and one pound of ground beef because that's what I happen to have on hand but you can certainly use um, you know, like I said, two pounds of each. You can substitute lamb, you can substitute chicken, you could substitute veal um, or venison, anything that you've got or anything that you want to go out and specifically buy for this recipe. Um, so you've got your four pounds of meat in there with your water and your rice. Now you're going to add your fruits and vegetables. And again, you know, these are easily interchanged. So I'm using two fruits. I have a half a cup of blueberries and I have, um, I have two small apples. You could use one large apple or two small apples and just cut those into chunks. So the apples go in, um, a half a cup of blueberries, those go in. I have one cup, if you press it down, it really is one cup of kale, but then it poofs up. So um, one cup of kale. Kale is a super food. It's really, really great for, for humans and for dogs. Um, so you, you just kind of shred it up or, or chop it a little bit um, and put about a cup in there. And then I've got one large sweet potato that I've cut into chunks. Um, that's going to go right in there. And then I've got two large carrots, Not you could use probably like eight or ten baby carrots or two large carrots and again they're cut into chunks. Um, they don't have to be teeny tiny chunks because when you slow cook things everything um, absorbs the moisture and gets really tender so your dog's going to be able to chew this really easily. Um, the water obviously is not going to cover everything that you have in here but that's okay because as the meat cooks down, um, like I said my meat is frozen so it's a lot higher right now as it unthaws and breaks down a little bit. Um, you know, things are going to be able to mesh a little bit better. And, um, you know, some of the, the juices from that meat are going to come out too. And um, you'll be fine. So don't worry about that. So you add all of your ingredients into your slow cooker and you leave it. And mine are frozen, so in about two hours, I'm going to go ahead and stir this all around. But you don't have to. If you're going to work and you, you're not going to be home, it's not a big deal. Like I said, low for um, about seven hours or uh, high heat for about four hours. Now, I use frozen, so I'm going to check it after seven hours. And if it needs another half an hour or so, maybe an hour, I might bump it up to eight hours. But it should be fine after seven hours. Um, just keep an eye on that. 
and you'll know when it's finished because the meat's cooked through um, and all your vegetables are nice and soft and moist. So really simple cooking with a slow cooker. Again, you can check out those other recipes that I've shared. There are slow cooker recipes all over online. Um, if you have any questions about this recipe or uh, anything that I can answer for you, any recipes that you'd like to see that are not on our site, um, make sure to suggest those. You can email me, Samantha at topdogtips.com. You can check out our website. We are on YouTube. Um, follow us there and you'll be kept up to date with all my latest videos. I post numerous videos a week, so uh, you can get the latest of those. If you subscribe to our channel you can like us on Facebook for all of that too to stay up to date we're on Twitter Google Plus um, Instagram so check us out and uh, make sure to give us a like so you can follow us and keep up to date with that stuff and I hope you guys enjoyed this slow cooker recipe for dog food I will see you guys back next time with a dog treat recipe for you have a great week guys